We have seen entire countries banning Roblox before, but this time, today we are talking about... I think it's a state. Hold on, I need to- oh my god, I need to google this right now. Okay, it's definitely a state in the US. Louisiana just, I think, passed some kind of bill that made it impossible for people under 18 to create Roblox accounts. Or maybe not impossible, but there is something happening right now that makes it a lot more difficult for them to be able to create those accounts. Which is kind of funky because, like, I mean, like I said, we have seen entire countries banning Roblox before, but this one is very random out of all of the states in the US. This one just randomly popped up and was like, hey, we are also banning Roblox because why not? They have the ability to do so. So before I forget, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And very quickly, please join my Discord server. The invite code is Chloe Games and there is a link in the pinned comment. So breaking news, Louisiana passed a bill pro prohibiting, I'm so sorry, I'm bad at reading today, online services from allowing people under 18 to sign up for accounts without parental consent and allows parents to cancel contracts under Buying their children's accounts on sites like TikTok and Roblox and apparently according to the article, I mean the very small amount of article that I can actually view, because apparently unless you're giving them like a dollar a week you can't read their articles. I'm pretty sure nobody reads them at that point because who is paying weekly to read articles about states banning Roblox? No one. Apparently this is also going to affect like TikTok, in, in Instagram, <laughs> Roblox and YouTube. Those feel like very random things, like I mean TikTok, Instagram and YouTube, they are all some kind of social media, but Roblox thrown in there is kind of weird. I guess since it's technically a platform, it can also be considered a social media, but it just doesn't feel like it should be grouped in with the rest of those things. But this is a little bit different to the way that countries were banning Roblox before, because when they banned Roblox, those countries, it basically made it impossible for people in those countries to access the website and that was that. Like, if you tried to visit roblox.com in those countries that banned Roblox, it just wouldn't load the website. Like, there was no chance that you could get on the website and I mean, people were getting around that with things like VPNs or anything like that. So it may be a little bit inconvenient and very, very annoying, but ultimately it wasn't that big of a deal. People could get around that. But with this, people in Louisiana, they can still access Roblox. If they go to roblox.com, they can still load the website. It still works for them. If they are over 18, they can create an account and there's going to be no problems there. But if they are under 18, the thing that this does is makes it so that if a parent of the child who is under 18, they contact one of these websites. So for example, if you are under 18 you create an account on Roblox right now you're in Louisiana if your parent was to then contact Roblox and be like hello I'm parent my child made an account I'm telling you to delete the account at that point Roblox would have no choice like no hesitation no questions asked they would just need to delete the account and that would be the end of that I don't understand why why that's a thing like I mean that already exists on Roblox right now if you are under 13 if the account is set to be under 13 and the parent contacts Roblox and tells them to delete the account Roblox would have to delete the account like no questions asked. But now in this one state that has passed this bill, that means that it can happen to accounts that are under 18, which is, I mean, obviously a very big problem. Thankfully, it's only this one place that I have seen doing that, but the same also goes for like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, not just Roblox. So it's kind of interesting because why, again, why is Roblox being grouped in with the rest of those things? And why are they like not banning the entire thing, but just making it so that your account can be deleted against your will if your parent decides to like, contact Roblox and tell them to delete it like that's the end of that so you're still allowed to use Roblox you're still allowed to put all of this time effort possibly even money into your account and then it can all just disappear in the blink of an eye because somebody else told Roblox to delete it. Like if you're under 18, that's the way that it's gonna go in that specific state. So at least it wasn't an entire country this time. We can say that it's just one state in the US and still, I don't know why they are doing that. Doesn't really make sense. There is probably a reason that they decided to do something about those specific sites like TikTok, YouTube, Roblox, anything like that. But the way that they are going about it feels very very weird and inefficient almost but i guess if you are from this state or if you're in this state under 18 i'm just be careful with your accounts maybe i don't know what else to say like this is such a weird way to go about doing something like this so please the comments is the place to go tell me what you guys think about an entire us state banning roblox basically thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one